Welcome to this video that shows off some features of Microsoft Azure Web Jobs. Web Jobs is a way for you to run your code as simple batch processing in the Azure platform and it is the, a feature which is now generally available in Microsoft Azure. My name is Magnus Martinson and I'm a Microsoft Azure Most Valuable Professional and you can easily reach me if you have any follow-up questions either online or and the email below. I did a previous recording called the Hello World Web Job where I go through all of the fundamentals of, of Azure Web Jobs, how to set one up and how to deploy one into Azure. This is not that video. I urge you to go and look at that video first if you haven't done so. I will continue with showing off some features in a separate demo. In this video, I will show you how to make your web applications run faster and give your end users a much better experience when they use your site. I will do this by moving a piece of logic that takes up time as you submit an ordering form away from the ordering form page and uh, move it into a background process in a web job. So I have a very big demo or actually a whole workshop day that I uh, sometimes use and from this I've pulled out only one thing, a list of, of cakes. This is the uh, cake factory example or the bakery uh, example from Microsoft um, so that I use for as a baseline. So I have a, a very ugly list here, uh, deliberately a very ugly list because I, I've removed everything else from this sample except for the list of, or, of uh, items you can order and uh, you can click on, on an item and I've pre-populated the email form there, um, address, and order a cake. When I hit order, as you will notice that it takes a bit of time for this order to submit. Now it's done. And I also receive an email message uh, detailing my order. So that's the, that's the logic behind this, uh, this site. Uh, as you saw, the uh, posting of the form took a bit of time, and the reason that it takes a bit of time is this. I'm inside of the uh, post action now uh, for the order form, and as you can see, there's some form of ordering service that submits the order probably to a database, right? And then after the order is submitted, if it was successful, there's an email sent out using this webmail.send function there. So these two tasks, submitting the order and sending out the email, uh, both, the, both of them take a bit of time and they have to run sequentially because you can't actually send out the uh, order successful email uh, unless the order has been successfully stored. Now, running this code inside of your, your um, web page makes the web page slower for your end users. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy this away and remove this part and, and instead insert another ordering service, service here, which is an Azure ordering service. When this service submits the order, what happens is that uh, the order is submitted to an Azure storage queue. Uh, it's uh, serialized into JSON. Uh, the order information and it's stored in a queue right there, add message. And this is much faster than the um, uh, logic that I had before. So when I run this now locally on my local machine, you will see that the order will be faster. Site starts up, shows me the list of products. I send in an order, test, see it's much faster. Uh, let's do another one just because, and order 42 items as well. So much faster. Where did the orders go? Well, I told you that it winds up in an Azure storage queue and it's right here, it's called tart orders. And I peek into this queue and you see that there are now two JSON serialized orders waiting in my queue. They haven't been processed yet, of course, and in order to process them, I'd like to use a web job. So I'll go back to the code, and basically this code that I removed from the um, um, 
code behind page or the um, the, uh, sub the post action is now moved over into this web job that I've created and when I double click on it you will see that somewhere down here there is a bit of logic to perform these um, get orders from the database etc some some logic that I do to find the right information about the order and then I create the email and I will send it and all of that is it, it, this is virtually the same logic and the end result will be exactly the same but I will run it as a background task so what I'll do is I'll simply launch this web job here to process the the queues, uh, the queue messages. So I'm launching the web job and I'm running it just on my local box for now. And you can see there that the first order is processed. The second order is not processed. There's something wrong in the logic. So the second order is not processed. And now I got an email for the first order which was processed. The second order seems to be retried several times and it, and it still fails every time. So five times it seems like this order, this second order was processed. Let's go over to uh, the storage and see. Messages are processed. Okay. Well, they're both gone, but one of them failed, right? Hmm. Not so good. Perhaps. Let's go up to the uh, to the dashboard and um, see. We can see that the uh, process order method has been processed six times has been executed six times one successful and five fails so i can go into the diagnostics data and see here that yes there was a successful execute uh, successful ordering and it was ordered uh the, the first order that i did was one item but the other ones that failed what's wrong with them well let's go in and see aha uh -huh. I can see the exact details of the exception uh, that was thrown inside of my method and it says that got a system exception you can't order 42 items that's what I ordered uh, and my, I can see the order item was quantity 42 items the details exact of why this order failed so that's that's pretty good I can go into my code and I can check and see that if the order quantity is 42 it seems that I have written in my code that I should throw an exception. But maybe somebody wanted to order 42 items. Maybe that was the correct order. Did I all of a sudden lose an order? That's the loss of business right there, and it doesn't seem very good, does it? Well, fortunately, Azure Web Jobs have built in poison message handling. So whenever an, a web job runs and fails, it will retry. The default is five times, as you saw. You can set that number yourself, but the after it's retried to order uh, the, the same order data five times, it considers the message poisonous and moves the message from the original queue over to an, identi an identical queue name dash poison. So if I open that up, you can see that the poisonous order has been entered into my other queue. And you can see there that the quantity of 42, this is the, the second order that, that I made. Um, I'm not, I'm not losing any orders this way. I need to have, of course, some logic to go and check this poison queue and see whatever orders uh, fail. Maybe send them as an email to an inbox of the, uh, um, the accountant or somebody who can then perhaps manually handle the order for me and make sure that the, there is no loss of business. So there you go. Actually, very, very cool way to make your uh, a very stable way as well, right? To make your applications faster so that you can then just send uh, uh, orders quickly for your end users to, to see on your site that your site is responsive and quick. And uh, in the background, you use the uh, orders uh, web jobs processing. There's one thing I actually almost forgot to, to mention. Uh, the thing is that I'm able here to uh, take my web job and my web app and couple them together using uh, this command here in the tooling. I go and right click and I say, add an existing process as an app project as an Azure web job. I get this add Azure web job dialog and I can pick my, my web job, give it a proper name and 
say that it should be running continuously. In this case, continuously where it makes sense. I don't have to run it on a schedule or on demand. I want to run it continuously pulling the queue. So whenever an order is made, I want that order processed. So I've already done that. And what happens when I do, do make this ad is that I get this JSON in there that references my web job. And in my web job, similarly, I get this web job publish settings JSON in there, which contains the settings for my web job. So then when I next time I publish my website, my web job is going to be published alongside with my web uh, site back up to Azure and be deployed inside of the uh, the same deployment slot that I have my, my website in. So it's, it doesn't require me to run this background process in a new separate uh, virtual machine or something like that in Azure. It runs alongside with my website, but it runs in the background and gives me lots of lots of good benefits. So that was it. If you have any follow-up questions at all about this demo, please feel free to reach out to me. Thank you.